guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Mraya, Kenya Munabu Sarajan Kusamani, Ita Kuaja Matropos. Now, a lot of you have been asking about my hair and makeup routine. Atime kwa mkimuliza jyo manyuele na vanya na duma na kipo doa po doa lakini. So, we're gonna do a little bit more on that later. Badaya. Aje, aje. Hey, hey, what's up, good people? Man, did you guys enjoy that Easter weekend? Something we did this past Sunday that was really cool was we played a new game, His yeah. Last Words, cool. where we put up quotes from Jesus from the Garden of Gethsemane to Ascension. So many clubbers got online to true, play, man. and the response was super fun. We need to announce who took this home. We are so proud of Lakeisha Nayu. Hey. Good job, girl. And because she won, she gets a surprise quarantainment packet. Yeah. We wanted to give you a sneak peek of what was inside. Mm. Bubbles. Who doesn't love bubbles? Bubbles. What else did we get her? <laughs> a little emoji to stick on her window. Aww. Look, wouldn't this make That's anyone cute. out there happy? Yeah. What about a glow frog? <laughs> a glow in the dark frog? Who doesn't want a glow in the Everyone dark frog? Everyone wants a glow in the dark what frog. What kind of crazy thing I mean, could you do with a glow it's in the awesome. dark frog? Hey, Listen, this is going to give stick, her entertainment frog, for days. We got her a bouncy ball. Ooh. Candy. Candy, a popcorn bowl. Be on the lookout every weekend because you might win the next True. surprise package full of completely new things. Yeah. Who knows? Guys, it's been a minute since we played boys versus girls. Woo. So today, yeah. we're gonna do it, all right? We're doing it with the activators. One boy, one girl, let's play. Go girls, <laughs> go girls. Bigger boys, mukotu sawa ni aje, maze you got it. Proud of you, Steph. Proud of you, girl. There he oh! is. What's up, Jonathan? <laughs> we saw your profile picture. You're the goat of Starehe. Goat of Starehe, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh, nice. nice one. Nice. Awesome. Well, it's your turn. It's your turn today. Yeah, I'm ready. The question for today is... If you were to have a collection of anything in your wardrobe, what would it be? Uh, definitely shorts. Uh, nice. With my, you know, with my designs. Ah, nice. nice. All right. Maybe also some dress wear. Reading. That is cool. All right, cool. All right, thanks. Nice talking to you, man. Keep reading. Keep reading. Okay, yeah, we're trying. We're trying. Yeah. <laughs> keep it up. Okay, thank you. See you. Okay, bye. Thanks, hey. What's up? Hey. Sasa, how you been? I've been fine. Hey, that's nice. Do you miss us? Do you miss us? I love that's I love that's really? today's question. Oh, Do you miss us? That, that's a good question. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I just think that I'm like, 
Well, I oh, oh, that's all we needed to hear today. You, We're done. Sweet. Bye. Okay. That was so awesome. That was awesome talking to you. No, 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 no. no, no. no. <laughs> Just kidding. No worry. We had one question. If you could have a collection, collection of one, one thing, thing in your wardrobe, in your wardrobe, what would it be? Uh, Adidas shoes. Ooh. Of course, of course. Okay, okay. It's so good to see you. It Thank was, you for taking was. your Thank time you with your us. Time. Okay, okay, gotta go. Bye. Bye, see girl. You. See you. Hey. There we go. Man. Dude, what you been up to? Just sitting around the house and watching movies. Wow. Party. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, inside <laughs> the house, right? We have a new, totally new question, okay, for you, all right? So here's a question. If you were to have a collection of anything in your wardrobe, what would it be? Uh, I would say full Nike kids, like Ooh. sports kids, sports, everything Nike, like Nike advertising apparel. That's a good one. That's a very good one. Yeah, I do like the apparel and everything else. Oh, uh, that's cool. That's a good answer. I, so, Maz, it was so yeah. cool, Maz, again, just talking to you. Hey, now, listen, I want you to do something yeah. for me, okay? We are about to get into the session, and I would love it so much if you'd pray for us. Could you do that for us right now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Father Lord Jesus, we thank you today, Lord. We thank you for our wonderful activators who are working hard to supply for us, who are constantly working to nourish us. Mm -hmm. We thank you for all the activators who are spending time thinking about us, praying for us, Lord. And we pray for each and every clubber who's out there watching this club. Session. Yes. Oh, that's cool. We thank you for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks, Aizo. Thank you so, so much. You're the best. Have a lovely one. Yeah. All right, see ya. My people, are you ready for today's lesson? You know, the past few weeks, we've been talking about OOTD, as all of you know, and Faith has been doing a few sessions, really turning the attention on us, talking about just surrendering our lives to the Lord afresh, what it means to stay committed to Him, what it means to love Him. Because when we love God, that's how we better love others. And so maybe you've been listening to the last few sessions and you've been looking inside and seeing some things that need to change. But you know, we've got to take this a step further because even if you're taking measures to change yourself, it's not going to last long if you're not taking measures to change your environment. Clubbers, it's not just about you, it's about the influences around you. And so today, this is gonna be our final lesson around OOTD. And we're gonna be talking about how to change your friends. Proverbs 13, 20 from the Message Bible says, become wise by walking with the wise. Hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. And that's why you need to make sure that whatever God has been prompting you to do, when it comes to your purity, your salvation, you are not going to make any progress hanging out with fools. All right, you're going to have to make a dedication to changing the friends around you who might be leading you away from God. So you become wise by finding the wise, by walking with the wise, by hanging out with the wise. Fight is about to come and really break down how we change our friendships. But before he does, I wanna lay a foundation first. Every friendship is so unique. And so everything Fight is about to share, I wanna encourage you clubbers to make sure you're seeking guidance as you learn how to maneuver through your friendships. Guidance from the word and guidance from trusted people. If I was waking up today and I had a really important event to go to, what I'm most probably gonna do is get up early, pick out my outfit, and hopefully all of us would take time standing in front of the mirror to make sure our outfit looks just right. What happens when you stand in front of the mirror and you're not confident about what you see? There are mornings I wake up and I'm like, yeah girl, you're it. But then there are other mornings I wake up and I'm not sure about the outfit I've put together. What do I do? Normally I would take a picture and I would call a trusted friend, right? Someone who has more experience, someone who's cooler, someone who's funkier. Like I'm gonna get on the phone and find someone who can give me good advice about the outfit I've put together. That is the exact same process we need to go through when it comes to our friendships. Let the word of God, first and foremost, be your mirror. When you've picked out a friend and you've put them on and you're standing in front of the mirror, let that be God's word showing you, guiding you and leading you on what it is you need to do with that friendship. But here's the truth. The mirror doesn't lie, but sometimes we doubt it. Sometimes we're not always sure about what the mirror is saying. 
And if there are times where you feel like God is prompting you about something and you need more clarification, guys, you need to make sure you call up someone you trust, someone who has more experience. What they're called on YouTube is trend authorities, all right? People in your life who are like your wardrobe consultants, fashion experts. You need to find people in your life you can call up and say, hey, give me more wisdom here. This is what I feel God is telling me to do about this friend. God wants you to succeed. He wants you to succeed in every friendship you have, but sometimes that might mean a little more guidance and a little more help. So how do we change our friends? Great question. I don't know how many of you have been following us on IG lately because I've been trying on a couple of new looks uh, with the headgear and it has been so much fun. It has been so great hearing what you guys have to say about it. So I'm going to use my experience in changing my look to try and express how it is possible to actually change friends. So my first try was this hat and y'all came back at me with a resounding no. And truthfully, even I thought, nah, it won't work. I honestly thought I looked kind of shady. Isn't it so with our own lives? Guys, you know there's those friends that you have in your lives that from the start, they are a no. These friends don't help you get closer to Jesus. They are dangerous for you. You know you become a different person when they're around. You know what you need to do? Block them, unfriend them, stop following them, stop liking what they post. After wearing this hat, I was so tempted to call it quits. I was like, no more hats for me. And sometimes you might be tempted as well, thinking, you know what, I've tried this friend's business, it just doesn't work. Well, today, I want to tell you something. There is hope, because for me, the real OG came, Pastor Kevin himself, and he told me, you know, what you might need to change is your look. Maybe what you need to change is your heart. And so I listened to him, and in came the Marvin. I am so glad I waited. I'm so glad I listened to Pastor Kevin because it paid off. I looked good and there was a resounding yes. And so my first point in how to change is change patiently. Take your time. Just like I had to try a new look, try new relationships as well. Look for people who will build you, who will encourage you, who will help you foster your love for God. So guys, take that time to find the right look. It shall come in time. Don't be so hurried in your decision. Enter headgear number three, the bandana. That was just me going out there being bold, right? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have big ears. And when I wear a bandana, it just accentuates my ears. So I had to overcome embarrassment. I had to overcome insecurities, guys, for real. So I learned another lesson change boldly. Guys, you need to go back to school. You need to go back into your neighborhood and take a bold stand about your conviction in Christ. And because of that stand, choose to change your friends. Say, because I love Christ so much, I cannot entertain dirty jokes. I will not entertain what we do in the dark. Be bold about your stand in Christ. Be bold about your convictions in God. Some of you, will have to overcome your insecurities of what you'll be labeled as if you change your friends. Your insecurity could be, I cannot befriend this new crew. They are so unpopular. Can I tell you something for a fact? They might be unpopular, but that's because it's coming from your environment. When you change your environment and you find out who those people truly are, they're the cool people. They're the kind people. They're the loyal people. Those are the friends that are worth changing for. And another thing you have to be bold about is Prepare yourself to receive backlash from your previous crew. They will most likely hate on you, but it's okay. Be strong. Guys, I learned something new today that you can use to charge yourself when you need to be bold. It comes from Psalm 31 verse 25. It says, Chazak, Chazak, let your heart take courage. And that can be you every time. Chazak means be strong, be strong. Let your heart take courage. You can do this. To wrap this up, I know this is not an easy decision to make, but we've been given such a unique season. During these quarantine moments, use this time to figure out what heart really looks best on you. Who do you want to move forward with? Who do you need to move away from? Don't be afraid, be bold, do it patiently, and get good counsel. As Anna said earlier, feel free to DM us at Club Itself Official or WhatsApp any activator. We are so here for you. We want to do this with you. But for now, I would like to just take this moment and pray with you because this is going to be a big decision in your life. And I want to pray with you as you do it. Heavenly Father, 
I take these moments to commit clubbers into your presence. As they've heard what we've said, may they take their time to make these changes. May they make them patiently. May they make them boldly. May they make them with godly counsel. May they look to their parents. May they look to godly leadership to just help them go through this whole process. And Holy Ghost, I just want to ask you that you would guide them, guide them in all truth, that they would know exactly who to pick, who not to pick. You are the one who can help them go through all these moments. So we commit them to you and we pray a blessing over their lives. Cannot wait to hear their great testimonies. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen and amen.